Hi guys, Danny here with another M272 tidbit, I guess. Um, in past videos, I've kind of gone over mods. Today's discussion is going to be more on maintenance. Uh, I had mentioned in one of the last videos, my tutorial video, that I did the composite intake manifold because the runners, the swirl flaps in my stock manifold were bad. So, when I pulled that manifold out, uh, the actuators are actually in one piece and seem to be working properly, as did the actuator arm, which is pretty atypical. Normally it's the arm that breaks. So a lot of the time the culprit with that is oil in the intake system. It kind of gunks everything up, your flaps can't move properly, and when you're talking about that, one of the common causes is going to be the oil recirculating system. So, I already have this one on. I'm not really doing an install tutorial, I'm just discussing it. but. Uh, they have, I forget what it's called actually, it's kind of funny sounding, it's an oil, I'm thinking right now, oil drip pan, they call it, and uh, that kind of sticks on to the end of, I believe it's the camshaft, and then you saw that black cover, which is essentially just a housing for it. So I have the part numbers right here for both. Here's the drip pan, that is 273-010-0162. And then onto the housing cover, we have 272, you can just read for yourself. But anyways, here's the old one pulled. So you can see the housing. Uh, if you look, gasket is actually in pretty rough shape. So mine wasn't really leaking a ton of oil, but you're not going to generally leak a ton of oil because it's oil vapor that this is meant to transfer. So it's gonna come out in kind of a mist rather than a, a steady stream typically, unless maybe this gasket was completely torn off or a bolt was backed out and my main indicator of this is I had done the intake manifold swap and besides the fact that I was checking the dipstick and noticed I was down a good amount you can actually see some oil was dripping there and you can see that this guy oop, right in here has oily residue on the end of uh, on the end of the hose oh, my phone said my device is too hot and turned the flash off so good thing we got that in there but Anyways, that hose goes from the air deflector that mounts to the throttle body to this guy right here, the housing. You can see like the nipple on there. So what that would have meant is I was getting a lot of extra oil into the throttle body, which meant I was burning oil, and that's where my oil was going, which makes sense because there's no visible leaks anywhere. So went to good old FCP era, picked up both of these. So these parts are going to be under warranty now, which is nice because this is a pretty common occurrence on these motors. So overall, pretty easy. It's really annoying to get to the bolts, but other than that, it's one, two, three, four, and then the one to get this guy off afterwards. There's plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. You'll be able to find it. But I just wanted to show off the state of my drip pan and whatnot. So. What happens is this end slides into the engine essentially, and this is the guy, you can see he's got these kind of fans that dissipate the oil as it's flowing through the top end while the car's spinning, uh, or while the engine's spinning. So you can see there's some erosion on here, and what that would mean is as the car is driving, as it wears over time, this is going to start to wobble a little bit. So on the housing itself, there's a pretty tight gasket seal that slides directly over the mouth of this that seals it off from leaking any extra oil into uh, the hoses that vent back to the throttle body. Now in my case, and very clearly the reason that I was having such an issue, is this is no longer a gasket. I mean, the diameter is normally probably a half inch just guessing off the top of my head and this is a pretty substantial hole now because you can see it's all eroded away uh, we got some gunk in the corner probably from it trying to vent gaskets all chewed up so I'm hoping that this is going to fix the issue I'm gonna keep monitoring my oil levels because there is another PCV sort of assembly and that is on the driver's side of the engine I didn't replace that one. That one vents to the top of the throttle body. Uh, this is just from the passenger side of the engine, at the rear of the engine. So if you notice that you seem to be losing oil with no visible leaks, or if you just put on a new OEM intake manifold because your flaps failed and you couldn't really figure out why, 
you might want to look into one of these guys for all the parts it cost me I think like 80 bucks brand new genuine Mercedes so it's a pretty good little maintenance item you can take care of that will ensure the life of your intake manifold because they fail so often on these cars and in my case the composite manifold has already remedied that but I don't want my car breathing its oil anyways so I fixed it and we will see how this holds up now having just one of the or one half of the assembly replaced.